guys. So last Thursday I went to an event at the Snug Bar which is by the Grafton Centre in Cambridge. This was a bloggers only event and it brought together about six or seven different bloggers from around the Cambridge area to try a cocktail making class. So luckily enough the bloggers that went along were actually people that I already knew because they'd come to the CAM meetup on the Saturday previously. Um, it was Miss Souffle, so Joe Christie, um, Jess in your ear, my friend Jess, um, myself and then two other bloggers that Jess had brought along that I actually kind of knew of anyway but I'd never met before so I'll leave the links for all of those people down below. I started off the evening with a strawberry daiquiri. This is the drink that I normally go for when I'm going out with my girlfriends or I'm going out for a nice dinner or something like that. I know it's kind of one of those drinks that you think of maybe university students grabbing at, I don't know, a cocktail bar or something, but I really like the drink, although it gives me awful brain freeze. We then went over to the main bar to start actually learning how to make the drinks. We started with a mojito and I actually think that mine was the worst out of absolutely everyone's. We got to pick what flavours we wanted to have in our drinks and I stupidly picked something that I hoped would be really, really sweet and kind of concocted a bit of peach and passion fruit and unfortunately it didn't really work. I had to add a load of strawberry on top of it and it kind of made it a little bit of a mess. Everyone else's were really nice. Um, somebody did a lime one, Jess did one that was really sour and they were all really, really nice except from mine. We then moved on to make an espresso martini. Now, Espresso and coffee isn't really my cup of tea, but it looked like a really awesome drink. Everyone else seemed to really be enjoying it, so I was completely happy with that. I love the smell of coffee, and I like other people drinking coffee and sort of being around me because I love the smell, but I don't like drinking it myself. I'm a tea person. I either have Earl Grey or a peppermint tea, and that's just the way I am. But it looked like a really awesome drink, and it looked really fun to make it as well. In between making all these drinks, um, we had an amazing spread of food. We have everything from sort of chicken wings, to little dips and olives and oh my god it was just amazing. I'm going to put some clips in later on so you can see the amazing spread of food but it was just overwhelming. There was so much great food so I would definitely recommend going along to the snug bar to try some of their food out. The last drink that we made was a milky vodka -y drink. I'm unfortunately not a vodka drinker but everyone else seemed to really enjoy it. It was such a quick and easy drink to do and I actually kind of prefer things like that. I think if maybe we'd swapped the vodka for something else then I would have loved it because I really like milkshakes and drinks like that. Unfortunately I didn't get to try it because vodka is just that drink for me where you know everybody has one, you smell it and it just makes you feel sick and brings back bad memories from when you were a kid but I'm so glad that they kind of introduced us to a whole new range of different drinks and he explained to us about how to make all kinds of things, it wasn't just these ones. So it was a really, really great opportunity to actually sort of learn about drinks rather than just going for something that you always go for because you know it's going to be good. I love mojitos so I always drink them but to maybe mix up the flavours a little bit, even though mine went wrong, was a really great thing because now in the future I'll be so much more up for trying different flavours. It was such a great evening and I've got to say I was a little bit tipsy by the end of it. My poor boyfriend had to come and pick me up and um, I was probably chatting a little bit too much. But I had such a great evening and I felt really, really comfortable and confident around this group of people. It is so nice to now have finally found a group of people in Cambridge and around East Anglia that I can talk to about blogging and talk about events and all these great things. There's an event on Wednesday and there's an event on Thursday and I'm really, really hoping that I can go along and meet some great bloggers from there as well. Since planning the CAM meetup, I found that my confidence for content and my confidence in terms of filming and blogging and taking pictures has literally gone through the roof and I couldn't be more grateful to each and every one of the bloggers that I've met or talked to or any of the people that follow me. I really really appreciate it and even though I am some kind of nobody from Cambridge, I still feel like I'm important within this small group of bloggers so thank you so much and thank you to the Snug Bar for bringing us all together because I really think it was such a successful evening and I really hope you do them again in the future. Please enjoy these clips and let me know what you think. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next video.